I'm a Frederick native, so I grew up here in Frederick and, you know, going through high school and, and then actually went to Penn State for my education and came back to Frederick and you know, many people kind of leave Frederick after college in that sense, but I've always drawn to Frederick, always enjoyed Frederick. Um, there's a great sense of community as well as just maybe a life balance people have in Frederick. They kind of appreciate it, those who kind of desire to be here. I'm a graphic designer by trade, but kind of coming out realizing that design is good, but we need business, we need advertising, we need marketing. And so quickly shifting into marketing, worked for a couple different agencies in DC and coming up to Frederick and started my own business in 2008. And so we're actually rolling into our 10 year anniversary this month as well. Basic generalization of what we do in digital is, you know, started with websites. I mean, that's what's kind of the first push into digital's website. Seeing digital shift, and now we're seeing even bigger shift to mobile and then to video and things like this. I mean, I, I be in a certain place to say that websites may even be a thing of the past and the soon to be future. So how media changes, how digital changes, and how we look at that marketing for B2B customers that be marketable. I chose Frederick mostly because I just love this town. And I love the business community. Um, I saw really the advantage of growing up here that you are 30 minutes from DC or 30 minutes from Baltimore. You're you know, a two and a half hour train ride from New York. So why live in the jungle when you can live in you know, this wonderful countryside of Frederick and you know, make a day trip to those places. For me, um, my faith is a big component to my office and my work. And so for me, it starts at 5 a.m. I get up, do some prayer, have some coffee. Um, then I'll jump into reading and journaling. So I read a lot of books. You can see my bookshelf here. Um, I've read all these books. It's kind of one of my things is to have a book, not a bookshelf with books I haven't read before. And I find I reach kind of that super energized state at the end of all that. I think people say, oh, you get up at 5 a.m. You don't feel very good. Well, I don't think anyone does <laughs> at 5 a.m. The idea is to getting yourself there, um, getting, the, getting your time, getting your reading, getting your exercise. And when I kind of hop upstairs at 7 a.m., then I'm ready. Right, I'm ready and prepared and I can you know, wake up some kids and get some breakfast going and I'm ready to serve my clients better than me. My job is to present ideas, concepts, strategies for my clients to better their businesses. So I need to make sure that I'm in the best place possible rolling in here at 9 a.m.